Hi, my name is Bethany Seidella, and I am a member of the AEDY team here at Patton. We know the many challenges our educators face and how hard they work to meet the needs of their students and families. Today, we will look at the importance of and provide some ideas for staff acknowledgements. Hopefully by now, we are spending a lot of time recognizing students and providing them with behavior-specific praise and feedback. Well, this strategy motivates our staff members as well. People respond to being recognized. A Global Force research study showed that 89% of people are more motivated by being told what they are doing right than by being told what they are doing wrong, and nearly 80% looked for this recognition to be given close to the time of the activity. Another study by author and employee recognition expert Bob Nelson showed very similar results and is best summarized by this quote, you get what you reward. So what are some ways to recognize staff? Just as with our students, there should be a procedure in place to ensure staff are recognized and acknowledged. We all know that if there is not a process in place, we can get caught up in the day-to-day -day and we can easily lose the chance to provide staff prompt feedback. We need to be deliberate and intentional in our interactions with staff. Create a system for staff recognition. It could be as simple as providing tickets, setting up a Google Sheet to track, or keeping track through your emails. Make it simple, but ensure that you have a process and a plan to show your staff your gratitude. Just as with students, we want to think about incentives that will motivate our staff. Let's look at some ideas. Additional planning time or relief of a duty. Dress downs are always popular. Make it fun with themes such as denim day, team jersey day, or rock your favorite color day. Special announcements or shout outs. This could be via newsletter or emails. It could be as simple as thanking a staff member for covering a class. Many local businesses and large corporations are willing to donate to schools. Use donated items and gift cards for raffles and drawings. Staff always appreciate a special parking spot for the staff member of the month or week. A treat cart kept stocked with donations or some spare change for the vending machine is a low budget incentive. Create a quick thank you YouTube video. Be creative, be heartfelt, have fun with it. You can post to the program website and or send it via email. Remember, the incentive does not have to be a tangible item. Most schools do not have the resources to provide gift cards all the time, but you could raffle off that special parking spot. Recognition and privilege can go a long way to make your staff members feel appreciated. This could include a handwritten note or implementing a special activity such as a game with the staff members and their students. The important thing to remember is to provide the acknowledgement in a timely manner and to be creative. Involve the students, staff, and families. A simple Google form nominating a staff member for a meaningful act goes a long way. Or recognize special milestones for your staff members. More than ever, our staff and teachers face challenges requiring them to find innovative ways to meet the needs of our students. Let's not forget to recognize these efforts. Let's be intentional and model a culture of recognition for our students. For more information, please visit the MTSS folder in Schoology. Information on how to join Schoology is in the description for this video. Also, visit pbis.org or patent.net multi-tiered systems of support for more resources. Thank you for joining us today on Pop-Up Practices, where practice makes progress.